Being on Gotland in winter for me means freedom. The open coastlines here mean that the ocean usually stays ice free in winter. It is by no means an easy time of the year. You need to be out very frequent to stay up to date on what the sea chart is doing when the temperatures drop this low. Days are short, but if you manage to find the right spots, you can have the most memorable days of the year. Conditions today looks really good. I'm very happy about the calm conditions that we have right now. Water level is pretty low. I mean, a lot of the shoreline is bare. Fishing in quite a natural fly. Predator dubbing bait fish in a copper color and one accent color having a mulkis here. So doing a little bit on both. The goal is that to hopefully find the sea trout that is standing, has been standing very shallow in the night. And now when it's kind of cloudy, that they would remain in here around the rocks, especially that can maybe bind them to stay a little bit longer in the shallows. So looking forward a lot to get started. So let's do it. Extremely clear water near the shoreline. See if there is any fish here. When you make it out to the coastline like this in the sunrise, it's very crucial to fish the shallow water. Whew. I'm nervous. Big swell. What? That was insane. Yeah. Double on. Double on. I have a double on. Oh, one came off. <laughs> That's crazy. That is absolutely sick. Wow, there is sea trout here. Oh my god. Yes. Oh, what a nice cromer. At the moment, I'm a bit shaky because that was some intense stuff. I had a big swell right at the, uh, at the flies. I had a hard time believing that it was actually fish, but there were several fish moving where my fly was. I had a tag, kept stripping, and then I had a double on. So I'm, I am a bit stressed now when trying to unhook this with shaky fingers. The predator dubbing bait fish because it's gonna be more fish out there but uh, first of all I'm gonna have a look at this oh beautiful sea trout gorgeous wild silver yeah it's wild nice fins and everything so happy it's gonna be a hell of a day I think that was sick so yeah, I'll keep this glove off for the release. And I can't wait to get out again. Oh, that was so cool. So this one is going back. Unbelievable start. Took just a few casts. Okay, next cast where I had the contacts. Say that say I didn't miss out on this. That was so many fish. Flies look okay. I'm still in a bit of shock after that start. After just a few casts to have a double on like that, 
it's not many times that happens. So now I'm starting to come down in the adrenaline rush. Can maybe start to fish good again. Adjusting the jacket. Can start to work this area forward here. The fish was around, not many meters from my rod tip, but uh, I fished quite properly around here now. So we'll move out a little bit. Could be that I've spooked them, I don't know. Oh. There is a seal out there <laughs> looking at me. So there is uh, <laughs> some competition about the sea trout here. But what I will do now is I I will not stop fishing here, I just caught fish, but perhaps they're not out at the deeper edge. So I'll do more of a shallow approach here <laughs> before I move on. I'll do this at reel in a bit. Fish this area a bit quicker, but shallower. Trying now instead to go for another area. I got kind of tired of the seal after a while. I think it affected how the results became later. I saw it coming from the left and when it saw me it got so curious it just stayed around outside of me so no matter if I walked to the left or the right it just kept following me. So now we're on a new area and it looks very good here as well. So focus again on fishing the shallow waters and uh, see if we can come across any sea trout. That was weird. <laughs> Made the weakest hook set on a sea trout. <laughs> I don't know if you could see that shimmer of the fish, but it was definitely there. Margins are so incredibly slim when it comes to if they will be successful or not. I mean, we're close to sunset now. If I didn't cast that fly in the head of those sea trout earlier, maybe it wouldn't have a sign of a fish. But yeah, one contact on another spot. Now we're on the third spot. This might be the last spot for today. But it looks absolutely awesome again. Uh, it's uh, really good conditions at the moment. So I just have to hammer hard. See if there's happening anything. But uh, another one on the predator that being bait fish, it would be nice. That would be nice. In the current low water here, it's quite tough to uh, to fish, <laughs> getting bottom quite a lot. It's a lot of meditation here, so makes it quite a challenge. I think I made about 20 hook sets now in the last 10 minutes, just on, on grass. You never know when it's gonna strike. Like I had on the second contact of today, I was just so sure that I had bottom didn't do a proper hook set and I missed that fish so it's best to be prepared Oof. that kind of stuff <laughs> Oh. 
That was close. <laughs> oh. I'm stuck to the bottom. It is very hard to walk here today. <laughs> Don't see where I put my feet. But I kind of have a good feeling. I like this almost black water. I have good memories from it. Big sea trout coming in near the shore. Just had to hit with a fly right in front of the nose of the fish. But I think presentation is very important though. All right, I fished a good stretch now for gonna be about half an hour, hadn't had a single bite. But let's see if the, there is a pattern here today that in this surfy waves with some foam that I come out to here on the point, that there is where the sea trout is, which is uh, quite similar to where they have been on so far today. Like quite open areas with uh, a little bit of surf, like quite plain bottom, give it a go. But it uh, could be that that's a pattern and then I'm gonna keep on repeating that for coming days of fishing if that's the case until it stops working. It's often how I do my strategies and how I have good results in my fishing. And it's kind of, uh, yeah, you need to be fresh updated on what's working, at least in my opinion, to have good sea trout fishing. Yeah. But uh, it's not decided yet, we'll have to try and uh, stay open for many ideas. But uh, if this delivers, I'll definitely do more of that tomorrow. Stepping out on the more plain bottom again now, less dark. <laughs> so here I will easily be able to stay on my feet as well. And hopefully it's a, an advantage for the for the fishing too that it will that it will be here. I hope so. It definitely looks very similar to where I had the second contact. But the bottom is uh, very similar to where I caught the first fish too. Oh, big sea trout, big sea trout. Oh my God. Finally. Oh, I've been walking long for this. And it took the mulkis. This is big. This is big. Oh God. Has just been swirling in the surface now. Come on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Yes. Woo. There we go. Oh, it's a farmed one. Oh, farmed one just before Christmas. Maybe this goes for the Christmas table. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna reel in and uh, we take it from there. But it looks like it's a cut fin and uh, that uh, the fly came out. <laughs> that was lucky. Let's see. Yes, 100% that the fin is cut. Caught it on uh, the mulkis. If I allow myself to fabricate some kind of answer to what I did, I, I fished to shallow, shallow water for so, so long in the hope of that's where they should be in this time of year. What finally managed to happen here, or what finally happened when I caught this fish was that I've been fishing ultra ultra shallow, just wetting my feet, casting and covering probably one kilometer of shoreline here. It's nuts. I've been so in the zone today, feeling so good. Just been casting and casting, covering water. And then I came to these stones out here. And I felt like if there is somewhere 
they should be further out it is here i really like that i've never caught a fish at these stones before but i just took like 10 more steps out and boom <laughs> there it was my biggest fish this autumn he's not a giant but beautiful cromer farmed fish that is going home for the christmas table and the first sea trout that i actually kill on the youtube channel which is kind of weird I do take up some sea trout every now and then, and especially a farmed one, or if they're bleeding. A wild sea trout that are from Gotland, I usually let go if they're okay. But uh, every now and then, I think definitely should take up a sea trout. So happy for this. I've been so much fighting for catching a trout like this. I'm beyond stoked. So great. <laughs>